Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. You know, I hate that critical videos, what some would perceive as negative videos, tend to get more views. It's human nature to a certain extent, and I think there's a lot of anger in the world, and so when somebody activates it, it's almost like it can be dopamine in your brain. Similar to the Marvel Casino of Champions, opening a crystal gives you dopamine like a slot machine. But in a perfect world, in an ideal world, positive videos where you try to bring the community together and praise even Kabam where praises do would get the highest views. And I'm not saying that that can't be the case. It's just a lot more rare. Well, I had this come to a Jesus moment last night when I was playing the game, or as I like to call it better, come to Morbius moment where I was trying to get the most event quest completion points possible, and I'm up to 131,500, which I'm pretty dang happy with. I always save the Thronebreaker event quest for event quest completion because you are getting a ton of points. It's almost like cash back on a credit card for waiting to do the event that's worth the most points and the event quest completion. So I decided, even though... It's against traditional norms. I would still power through with Hercules and not follow the class-based incentives and bonuses for uh, the specific class of champions or this month also the, the specific tag champions that'll get you bonuses and fights. And surprise, surprise, especially since he is now ascended, Hercules did better than Black Widow Clairvoyant did in the Mystic Chapter, or he did better than Thighs, Black Widow, Deadly Origin. Interesting, I'm you know, referring to two different Black Widows. Uh, on the paths. So, yes, Kabam knows that they have a Hercules problem. Because he continues, especially now that he's possible to be ascended, to just clear content. I can't even imagine how many uh, items and units and who knows, maybe cash that this guy saved so many average players like myself who became legends, and I'm sure in some people's minds, fraudulently, because we just used Hercules, especially his awakened ability, to power through so many of the hardest and deepest zones in Sector 6 to eventually get past all 25. And if you missed it, I did it live on YouTube, and I did way better than I thought. I used zero units and still had items left over in my overflow that eventually became expired because I didn't need them to complete the task. So all of this is to say I got to the Morbius boss and I'll be honest, usually I I use Nick Fury first for a variety of reasons, including the bonus when Nick Fury gets knocked out, but he's rank five and some of you have ascended your Nick Fury and I know this because I have either played you in Battlegrounds, matched up against you in Battlegrounds with an Ascended Nick Fury, or you've sent me videos or screenshots. So I start with Nick Fur Fury usually. I call him Nick Fur Fury just now. That's hilarious. Uh, Nick Fury was not my first champ, though. I sent out against Morbius. This time it was Hercules, thinking, well, I'll just get to that unblockable uh, special two eventually with my Awakened ability. And I made sure to take this photo as a truly humbling moment. Because the second that my health tipped down to zero, I was dead. Now, maybe this doesn't happen every time. Maybe it does. I don't know. But I instantly thought, in this moment, Kabam are some geniuses. Because it's very tempting for them to create a champion like the next Hercules, who is hidden behind a huge paywall. Because normally crystals are hidden behind a huge paywall. If you consider Werewolf by Night, for example, that champion is going to be like any other champion. You can guarantee yourself, as I bring back the game, that you can get the 5-star version twice, depending on your progression level, if you are looking at the early access bundle. But a 6-star or 7-star is almost impossible to get. 0.2 and 0.7% chance. Well under 1% chance, particularly for the 7-star which means you could open a ton of crystals and not pull that champion. So, Morbius, or as some of you have been saying, it's Morbin time, which I think is genius and really fun to say. Uh, he could have been somebody that was standard behind a paywall like Werewolf by Night, but he is a $30 paywall 
essentially. And I believe at this point, as I look at my own inventory stash, I hate the champion items though. I just, I know that sounds like I'm being picky, but I just, I hate it. Uh, I guess I'm going to other because this is just marked as other. Uh, we have not one, not two, but three Morbius stamps. And remember, October 12th, or uh, seven days from yesterday, or a week from Thursday. So Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is when we can all get our Morbius. And depending on your progression level, you could get a seven-star Morbius. The irony is, and I'm not saying I'm going to do it because it's probably not very smart, but he is a science champion, and I currently have this, speaking of champion items, um, this six-star science awakening gym that I would love to use on him. But, of course, if I get the seven-star, seven-star awakening gyms at the time of recording this don't exist. So, can't do it. So, part of me is like, maybe I should just choose the six-star and awaken him and start putting six stones into him. But, who knows? Like I said, for the, the health of the game long-term, it's probably really stupid to choose a six-star over a seven-star. It just feels like... Maybe at first, especially in Battlegrounds, it might be easier to use the 6-star. Speaking of which, Battlegrounds is going to likely be a who has Morbius and who doesn't. So for people who spent the minimum of $30, and I realize that's American dollars, if you're in Canada or Australia, etc., you're going to be spending more money in your currency than I am. But regardless, if you spent the money... That is such a cheap price compared to even one early access bundle. And yes, I know it takes three months to form it, but this could have easily been a trophy champ like Kang or Thanos was when they came out. Weapon X was a breath of fresh air, and to a certain extent, so is Jessica Jones. But a trophy champ generally just means, hey, you collected him. It's like a mortal iron fist. Most people are never going to rank him up past rank one, though we have also seen, shout out to Jive, a... Uh, Ascended six star Mortal Iron Fist, which is one of the most ballsy, impressive, uh, courageous moves anyone in the history of the community has ever done with a rank up. So, you know, the bottom line is Kabam deserves credit for giving us a champion that may or may not decide Battlegrounds matches. And it's always hard for me to know what somebody is without the steroided nodes of the Event Quest boss setup. So, I think kind of reminds me of when I fought Absorbing Man for the first time, and I'm like, is this guy this annoying, or is it just the nodes? And it turns out, no, he really was really annoying and still gets bans. And some people think, and yeah, if you've got someone like Tiger, I think you're good to go. But if you don't, uh, some people think, well, he's going to be easy to defeat and then realize that his region is so good, especially at rank 5 as a 6-star, that you're not going to be able to get him down before the time expires in Battlegrounds. And in a meta like this month where speed is everything, you're going to lose. So... All in all, Kabam deserves a ton of credit for Morbius. The hype seems to be real, and the price was exceptionally low. The lowest we've ever seen, especially for Paragon players, getting that 7-star. So, who knows how this video is going to do view-wise, but all I know is I was really excited to put it out because I had that come-to-Morbius moment last night where I realized not only did he stop my Hercules Awaken ability, but also he's going to be a really fun, effective champ that helps people enjoy the game more for a low price, where Kabam still made a lot of money, but not as much money as they could have been if they got greedy, and they didn't in this case. And we need to celebrate that as a community. Thanks for watching.